Oh, hello. Do you like games where you jump out of thin air and rocket towards Earth to pick up items and weapons so you can unmercifully kill other players? And oh, it's basically Destiny, only you can't jump as high and it's a battle royale? Then EA made the game for you. It's called Apex Legends and it's free. And it's another battle royale. That's free. And, uh, pretty trash. It, it really is. Anyway, hello and welcome to another apathetic game review. This is a game review where we will be reviewing the game on the format out of 5 points. Personal feel out of 5 points, gameplay out of 10 points, and quality out of 10 points for a total of 30 points. If you haven't seen me before, go check out my other videos. There is no link in the description because I'm a bum. The game starts off with a cutscene talking about how there's legends in there. Good and bad, and they can be either, and blah blah blah, and you know, all these things, and people killing people, and yada yada, and then it takes you to a tutorial. You can tell it's a new game, because the tutorial has a few minor glitches in it. One example of this is people talking at the same time, which is, you know, very common with new games that are made pretty quickly, like this one probably was. Well, let's start with the format of the game. For five points, I have to say that the format of this game is pretty nicely made. They put everything right there, you know, you can choose from different characters, choose from different weapons, put new skins on different weapons, check your last round, check your stats, uh, the store is right there, of course the EA games, we're gonna have the store, very easy to access, um, uh, it's, it's, the format's not that bad, it, it can be a little confusing sometimes because when you go to the store and click R1, it starts doing R1 through the store, and then you click L1, and you have to get to the side of the store, and then click L1 again to get back to the weapons or something. So it, it's it's a little confusing, but besides that, it's pretty fine. Format gets an amazing 4.5 out of 5. Personal feel is basically like how customizable is the game, and how many weapons are there, and crap like that. The game has probably... Oh, 12 or 15 different types of weapons, which is, or di yeah, different weapons, which is pretty nice. And there's like probably about hundreds of skins, <laughs> a lot of skins for the weapons. It's uh, and then your character has different skins for the character and crap like that, which I like a lot. It's very nicely made. And uh, format, personal personal feel of this game, it's another 4.5 out of 5. Now let's check out the gameplay of this game for 10 points. Uh, this game has fairly nice gameplay, uh, as I said, several different weapons, which means that, um, you know, you're hardly ever going to get two weapons in the same thing. Well, I mean, pistols, there's only a certain amount of pistols. Um, a lot of skins, and, uh, you know, it's very nice. I would say that people have a lot of life in this game. Um, you know, you have to shoot someone like 3,000 times to kill him, you know, and then for some reason when someone shoots me, I die instantly. Which, you know, it, whatever. And you can only play in squads, you can't play in solo, and which means that if you want to play and you don't want to play with friends, you have to play with a couple of random people, and they can be pretty stupid sometimes, so you know, uh, it's, um, it would be better if they had a solo mode, is what I'm trying to say. And for that reason, minus two from gameplay. So gameplay gets in a, a fairly well uh, eight out of ten. Next up is quality of the game. Uh, the quality is pretty good, actually. Uh, good details, um, good pixeling. Um, you know, there's not much real uh, glitching out or anything. There's a few times when you know the internet's bad and the other dude is running around not doing very well. But besides that, the characters always look the same. They're not all weird and wonky looking sometimes, you know, and, uh, you know, shot shooting, it's not like the hit markers are any weird or anything, like, if you shoot right next to the guy, it's not going to do a hit marker, you actually have to hit him to get a hit marker, which is pretty good, and, you know, like I said earlier, it's basically Destiny, but with no high jumping, and with, uh, different guns, and it's about a battle royale, so, you know, Destiny was a pretty good quality game, and, uh, I don't, I don't Destiny was made by EA, but it might have been, but, you know, it, it's a pretty good game for an EA game. EA always makes good games, it's just, they have all these stupid packs that you have to buy and stuff, and I wouldn't doubt if they added this weird premium thing, so you have to get on premium to do it or whatever, but anyway, yeah, quality gets an amazing 9 out of 10, which is fairly good quality. 
So let's rack up the totals. 4.5 plus 4.5 plus 8 plus 9 gets us 26 out of 30, which is pretty good for a game. Only minus 4 points subtracted. Uh, this game is a pretty nice game. Yeah, for a free game, it's fairly nice. There's still, you know, EA has that little store that they always got. You know, you gotta buy certain crap to get good in the game. You know, some people have different weapons and some people have different skins, you know, and blah blah blah. And, yeah. I don't know. Uh, one thing that I didn't like is that you have to pick certain characters with certain abilities, and you can't pick a character twice. Like, when someone picks a character, you can't pick them. Which, I don't know, I guess they're trying to make it so the team's just, like, not unbalanced or whatever. But it would, I feel like it would be a lot better if you could pick the same character. Or maybe if the characters didn't have special abilities, uh, like, everybody can do this, that certain thing. But then it would be like every other battle royale. I guess you gotta make it different somehow, but it would be, uh, I don't know, it's just weird because, you know, you want to pick a certain character and then someone just steals it from you, and it's gay, but anyway, that's the end of the video, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, check me out at Twitter, at LJuker12, uh, looking for a lot more Twitter followers, I only have, what, like two right now, out of 104 subscribers, which is pretty trash, but, oh well, you know, I haven't advertised my Twitter very much, but check it out, uh, if you want news and updates on the channel, check out my Twitter for, uh, yeah, news and updates on the channel. <laughs> and, uh, we're gonna have a gameplay video coming out later this week, which will be fun to watch, and I'll see y'all inside the next one. Have a great rest of your day, and, uh, subscribe, please. <laughs> Smash that like button. See you guys inside the next one.